What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Vintage Cube. The only cube with cube cards in it. Okay, we got nothing here. But as far as picks, not terrible. I think we want just a Palace Jailer. Palace Jailer is a pretty, pretty busted magic card, and we haven't drafted anything more aggressive recently, so... I think we just slam this palace jailer and call it a day. Okie dokie. See you later. Now it's a day. Do we want Elspeth? It's a good question. It's a good question. It's the only white card in here. Do we want to go into a different color? Who knows? Oracle's good. But we just passed like Birds of Paradise and Elvish Mystic. So, you know. That's a thing. Displacer Kitten. Interesting. You gotta cast non-creature spells. I kind of just want the Elspeth and just, ta just take the only white card in this pack. and Or I can take the Vindicate. And be a cool black white deck. That's what we're gonna. Oh, but is grief better in that case? Double black, probably not. We're gonna take vindicate here. I bet Elspeth might come back. I do like a lion sash. I also like a call of the ring if we're like a white aggressive deck. That seems pretty good. Let's take a call and hope that either of these comes back. This is pretty cool. I'm a big fan of the black white deck. You get to play some cool creatures in that thing. Alesh Norn, you're a bit, you're a bit of a fatty. Grave Titan, you're also a bit of a fatty, but a little less of a fatty. Usher of the Fallen. Hmm. Turn one Usher and a turn two call is a thing. Is Grave Titan just a, a thing we want here? Do we have to be like super aggro? Can we be like a black white mid range deck? I think, yeah, both of these are good fatties. What's for dinner? I have no idea. It's only like four o'clock and Vista is also good, especially if we're two colors. I think we are going to take the Vista and just kind of hope one of these comes back. It feels like they might. Oh, we got a Talisman of Hierarchy or a Mox Diamond. Both cards I would not mind playing. Talisman ramps us to four, which could be our bread and butter. Mox Diamond is a down. I'm going to take the Talisman here over the over the Mox Diamond. I don't know if that's controversial or not, but I'm going to take this Touch the Spirit Realm. I think it's better than Wall and Kite Sail Freebooter. I don't actually like Braids at all. Every time I played Braids, I'm just super unimpressed by it. I do, however, like both Liliana and Smuggler's Copter, and even Steel Seraph is pretty good. Hmm... Are we going to do... Oh, what up, Mark? Thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate you, my dude. 20 months. We're going on two years soon. Our two-year anniversary is coming up. It might just be a little smuggy. Let's take a little smuggy. Well, this pack's not that exciting. We do have a Golos. And a Sigarda if we want to branch out into green. I think it's probably just Golos here. We can play it. It's not terrible. <clears throat> wow. Elvish Mystic came back. Zealous Conscripts came back. Nothing that we can play came back. I think we just take Blood Crypt here in case we find a use for it. Um, None of these cards are exciting either. Pentad Prism, maybe Black Cleave Cliffs for the same reason. I mean, turn two Pentad Prism is just, it's, it's similar to Talisman. Like with, 
like, I don't guess I don't understand the point of Pentad Prism. In in best case scenario, you're getting two mana off of it. Worst case, you're getting one. That's being stage is probably fine. I'm not super excited about it. We can take Inspire Advantage for the same reason if we end up Mardu. Oh, unless Norn came back. But also Duretti. And we got these lands that we like. I think I'm just taking the Eleshnorn because it's just good. We can just go Golos into Eleshnorn. And I'll just take Hornet Queen. Oh, Wall of Omens came back? Fascinating. Oh, all right. That guy's interesting if we do reanimate anything. What have we here? Him to Torok, animate dead. I do like an animate dead. I like a him to Torok more. I think it's I think it's more versatile if we're not reanimating. Um, I think those are the only real contestants. Maybe he's Jite. I think we're gonna take him here, and then we're gonna take all of the black white fixing lands we can find. The reason is because like the black white deck more than many others is um. Uh, very, very hard on the mana. There's a lot of double black, double white cards. Solitude is phenomenal. So we're definitely taking a Solitude here. Well, we took, yeah, we took Thespian Stage, but unfortunately, Dark Depths was also in the last pack. We're going to take this Solitude. Uh, this is a black, white, red land. So I guess if we did want to splash red... This is the perfect candidate to do so. Uh, double Damnation in here. Dam and Damnation in the same pack. Nothing else really stands out more than the, the Triome here. Oh, I do like a, a Thraben Inspector. It's probably the only card I would even consider playing here as well. And it crews the Copter. Let's take three bit inspector. I like Gix a lot. I think he's very sweet. I also like swords and I would take Exhum. I think I'm taking the Gix because it's the card I most actively want here. Actually, maybe we take swords and Gix tables. I don't know if that's going to happen. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Three cards are going to come back. I don't think one is going to be Gix. And we have Tooth Palace Jailer. Yeah, I want to take the Gix because I think I just like Gix the most. I Sometimes I take cards I'd rather play than cards that might be just better. And I admit that. I freely admit that. I'm going to take Esper Sentinel because that guy is bonkers. I don't think this card's very good. This card just makes me wish Thought Knots here was in the cube. Shallow Grave could be the play. Tide Hollow Sculler is kind of fine. What do we have for Discord? Just Smuggler's Copter so far? Yeah, I'm not super into that. This is basically just a 3 mana 3 4. Alright, I'm going to try Curtains because. Because I haven't yet. I'm going to take Scrubland. I'd love to take Sarah Paragon here. But I think I'd just rather have a Scrubland. Especially in this color combination. We could take Croxa, but he's going to be really hard to escape. And I think if you're not escaping him, he's kind of tough to play. I don't care about Student. I think I'm just taking Tefri. Because he's just better. Mentor actually could be pretty good here. It's probably better than Knight's Whisper. We have, we have Call, Wall, Esper Sentinel. We have a bunch of different things. Uh, I'll take a Karma Guide, sure. Do 
Target return in times second from the top. It's in three. I don't know why I read else. Like, I don't know what it is. I think we're just taking Misery's shadow here. I have not played with Misery's shadow, but it seems like a fine gentleman. Yeah, I'll take the land. Um, I do like Anduro Flame of the West a lot. That card is very sweet. I currently have Luxior, is that what it's called? The one that like makes planeswalkers into creatures. I might just replace it with this. You have 13 creatures. Yeah, I think I'm just going to take this because I think it's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, man. Um, Interesting. See, at first I thought we were going to be a con more controlling deck with like Wall of Omens and uh, Vindicate, Talisman, Aleshnorn. Is Evolve Sleeper? It is. It is in this cube, actually. It might just be Snuff out here. Well, if Neon Tokyo never sees it, then clearly it's just not in here. Actually, I like Solemn Simulacrum too, especially for playing Leshnorn. I'm going to take Solemn. Did you see that, see that little trolling I did? Do we like Flicker Wisp? What can we blink? We can blink Wall of Omens. We can blink the Raven Inspector. We can blink Solemn Simulacrum, Palace Jailer, Solitude. Actually, F F Flicker West seems pretty good here. It's also a flyer for our for our Flame of the West. I actually think Bone Shards might be decent here. Sacrificing a Raven Inspector like a Tithe Taker seems pretty good. Sacking a wall of omens? Yeah, let's take the bone shards. Oh, I do like a murderous rider. Are we are we like a deck that can really take advantage of Luris? Cast a permanent spell. We have a good amount. Yeah, I'm taking the Luris here. Orcish Bowmasters this late? Oh my god. Every game I play with Orcish Bowmasters, I end up winning. So that's gotta be the pick, right? <laughs> I like Leyline of Binding here, but I think it's going to be a four mana card. Look, an Evolved Sleeper. Look, there he is. Look, it just happened right before your eyes. It's actually not, it's not bad. I, I think it's actually the pick here. I don't think it's Leyline Binding. That thing's just going to cost four mana. Could be Arid Mesa. Arid Mesa seems great. Could be Yawgmoth too. I mean, I think when we have Prismatic Vistas, Vitriome, and Scrubland... I don't think we're playing Golos. I don't think we're playing a Leshnorn. Might not play Karmic Guide. This is a very low to the ground deck here. I don't think we're a Yawgmoth deck. I think I just want Arid Mesa here because it makes our mana that much better. I think we will take a Skull Clamp though. I do like a skull clamp with Luris. You know what else is good with Luris? Anything that costs two or less. It's all good. It's all good. We can just take Wrath of God here. Dude, we could have so much Mardu fixing and just not have any red cards. I'll take the Wrath of God. There could be some decks where we run a Wrath.
lit litus cube time oh it's cube time okay the first letter like an l i was like what does lit's cube time mean <clears throat> um i'll take fire blast we could just we could just cast it off so i try them in blood crypt you know stranger things have happened let us get to cubing <clears throat> Good old Mark cubing. I'm going to take this upheaval because it's really sad that it's that late. I want to take Vortex because no one should have... Oh, an Elspeth. That I might find a way to play. That's good with the Skull Clamp. See, Elashnorn's a little expensive, but six-man Elspeth might just be perfect. So we need two cuts if we play that. Let's... Oh, wow, that's so small. I reformatted my computer last night. And now all the settings are refreshed. We'll say... Yeah, let's go with a refreshed. Okay, any of these coming out? Probably not, because I do want to try this. And I do want to try this. Could take a wall of omens just because we did end up more aggressive. And it can't crew smuggler's copter or wear any of the equipment. I kind of like that. <clears throat> I mean, he's a good card, but it's not, it's not really for us, you know? Everything else seems good. I kind of want to take out Talisman, but I feel like Talisman's probably pretty good for us. What if we do take out Talisman we just rely on our mana to get us to 1-6 drop and 1-5 drop? Mesa, Vista, Triome, Scrumland. This is all our, this is not a lot of fixing. I thought we'd have more fixing than this. But I guess the thing is, in a two-color deck, you actually have access to significantly less fixing than in a three-color deck. In a two-color deck, if you have, let's say, five lands you have access to, in a three-color deck, you would have 15 lands. No. It's not 10, right? It's... I think it is 15. Because you'd have two of each. You'd have five for each. Yeah, Katie says no talisman, so... That feels correct now. So six and seven. White sources, we have one, two, three, four. Black sources, we have one, two, three, four. Okay, sounds good. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, okay, so let's look at like this. We do have more white, but I feel like we want black earlier. We have one, two. I guess we only have two creatures for each color on two. And then we have one white two drop, but one, two, three, four black two drops. I feel like we do want an extra black here because all our white doubles are a little bit later. Also, Savai Triumph might not be that great just because we have um, so many one drops. However, I think it's still good enough to play and we can just cycle it later. No talisman, no cry. And then we wait. Oh, we don't, we do. The waiting is over. How exciting. Yeah, get out of here. I know my commands. Oh my God, everything's so small. Oh, I like this hand a lot. Snap it off. Make it a little bigger. We can make it full size. Don't daze me, bro. <clears throat> oh, they didn't daze. 
Also with a blue deck, I feel like this guy could be pretty good and this guy could be pretty good. <clears throat> well, let's get in there. Well, they did not block. They're going to counter this. And then I get to draw a card. Oh, baby. Oh, they didn't counter it and I didn't get to draw a card. Great. Oh, a little trinky. Well, I'm going to get my Mox. Oh, a solar ring, eh? Fascinating. I will give this guy... <clears throat> I will tempt him with the ring. Uh, yeah, and I'll pay two life. Sure, that sounds great. What a deal. What a bargain. What does this guy do right now? Plus one, plus one? It's either Tithe Taker or Misery's Shadow. Let's play a Tithe Taker. <coughs> Sorry about my scratchy throat. His throat is so scratchy. <coughs> <clears throat> okay, well, now they got four mana. Hmm. Well, I got Touch the Spirit Realm, so I ain't too concerned with that. Oh, I can also just blink him. That's pretty cool. Unfortunately, what I don't have... <clears throat> is the mana, and here's the mana issues coming into play right here. We can't go Thraven Inspector and Flicker Wisp here. Yeah, I'd rather just play Flicker Wisp and get rid of this guy than waste a Touch the Spirit Realm. Oh, we get to loot too? Oh man. I guess we'll get rid of planes here. We have enough to play two things or a four drop next turn. We have nothing that costs five, so. Oh man. The looting. Dink and flicker. <laughs> oh Jesus, that's good. Super Fritz, I'm impressed with your quickness, man. Oh, fascinating. Well, I'm intrigued. I sacrificed the one creature that is worse than this one, and worse than this one gives me a 1 1. So, you know. I'm not going to draw anymore because we have plenty to do. We're going to draw with this. Bone Shards is ready. I think Thraven Inspector... Eh, Thraven Inspector is such a, a cheap deal, though, now, you know? <coughs> so I kind of like Bone Shards, Thraven Inspector, keep up Bow Bo Boy. I'm going to take the Misery Shadow. Actually, maybe it was Sol Solemn Simulacrum. I feel like that's just a little too slow for what's happening right now. Look at me. I am the monarch now. Thraven baby. Um, maybe we discard a card. Yeah, let's do that. Let's kill Sower. Tab of Black and discard Solemn here. Because we're going to draw a card anyway. I feel like we're pretty far ahead.
So we get to draw a card from this. They remand our spell. We get to draw another card. They get to draw a card. We get to kill this, play our land. And that was a pretty good turn. <laughs> draw another card from the Monarch. Okay, this deck is sweet so far. <clears throat> this is, that was a great turn. Fingers crossed they don't have like a uh, damnation. That would be sad. That's that's like a damnation. Do I get to draw? No. All right. Well, are they damnationing for one? That's interesting. Any order's fine. We don't have anything that cares about graveyard order, I don't think. Wow, this is impressive. Because we get to keep it now, and the whole board is clear, except for their one trinket mage. That was a good that was a good toxic deluge. And we get to blink him too, which is kind of nice. Good protection. Oh, we can also discard our hand in order to uh to activate him and and cast like five things play lands and cast spells from the top <clears throat> that's fine um yeah let's draw a card what the hell I'm at 12. I'm going to safe life total. <clears throat> so they can't block with their worm coil here. And we get to do a little looty tooty. Oh, wow. That's really good. <laughs> Okie dokie. Wow. That's really good. That might change my opinion. <clears throat> I have no idea why my throat's all scratchy. I apologize. I'm the monarch again. Look at that. Oh, I should have played my concealing curtains there. I feel like we're extremely far ahead right now. Oh, I see what's happening now. Is this end of turn? Oh, at the beginning of the next end step. So if they try to like time twist her here, we can actually blink her. No, we can't. <clears throat> That's not how that works. They got an Ancestral. That's pretty good. Yeah, okay. Can't really do anything about that. Wait. Artifact or creature? That's unfortunate. We're going to lose our whole hand. Damnation. That was pretty good. Did we draft any power? Our whole deck is power. Oh, that's just going to kill them. <laughs> They're just going to die. Now, I'm really tempted to activate Gix and just discard like five cards. Uh, yes, I will draw a card because it's free. Oh, and we can't... Oh, my God. I just paid two and they have Nar set out. That's the worst, man. Oh, God. What an idiot. Oh, that's frustrating. I can't believe I just did that. <clears throat> I don't want to. I don't want to discard a card. They have Narset. Oh, God. Draw nothing, discard. I just lost two cards this turn. I'm so stupid. Oh, God. So we discard four cards, exile the top four, and then I can play lands and cast spells without paying their mana cost. And I didn't play a land this turn, but I lose all four of these. And that just seems worse. I like that their deck has Toxic Deluge and Damnation. So that's good.
Let's play this guy. What are we playing out of the graveyard, huh? Yeah, like, I want to do this because it's cool. That's, what, that's, that's the bottom line. I just want to do the cool thing. Does it say each turn? Once during each of your turns. Oh, man, that's too bad. I could have bow mastered, you know? I still can. And it's still pretty good. Yeah, I'm just going to keep clue token up here. Actually, if we just play this guy, we can attack with it next turn. Sure, we'll do that. Let's see if they got another sweeper. <coughs> oh, he just won the game. All right. That was cool. I enjoyed that. What's good against double sweeper? Really nothing. If only we had... I mean, we have a way to splash this Tefri. We can bring in Spara's headquarters for, to get with our Arid Mesa. And then we can bring in Golos. That's pretty cool, right? I think our deck's good. I'm just going to submit. Oof. Two good two drop black cards and three planes, huh? And we're on the we're on the draw. Keep them all. I think we got to keep this. They're not very quick. And if we hit any black in the first two draws, we're just in really great shape. Okay, we didn't hit there. Watch, they're gonna give us a survive triumph. You ready? <clears throat> These guys are ready. Oh, every game, huh? Oh, going to get Ancestral Recall, huh? Well, they're doing well for themselves, Soul Ring into <laughs> Ancestral. Give me that Bowmaster. Oh, we did it! <laughs> That's exciting. Do it now. Interesting. Liliana. Sure. I'm going to go to Solitude here. Yeah, I mean, yeah, of course they're going to do it in response. I mean, that's they, they gave it to us, basically. There's no way to really play around that. I mean, going Solomon to Elspeth seems pretty good against them. They didn't seem to have a ton of counter spells or a ton of ways to deal with Planeswalkers. Who knows? I'm sure they're going to Damnation plus Elspeth. That's my guess. Yep, there's the plus. Nick Squirt, congrats on the job offer, buddy. Trinket Mage, that is not an Elspeth, or not a Damnation. Interesting. Let's attack Chiliana. Let's see if they want to eat a free Orc Army. And just lose Lily, huh? That's fascinating. <clears throat> I 
Is that better than just solemn simulacrum here? No, because I think we can get... Oh, God. I think we can get rid of concealing curtains. I think we have to take it off the board. All right, they, I'm pretty sure they're going to kill everything this turn. <clears throat> That's my guess. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're just going to hang her back, Walker, here. Fascinating. Okay. What does drawing a land for us do? Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, let's do that. Um, might as well get in there with this guy. Where did you hang a bag walk ago? They have two cards. We actually might be doing well here. Uh, yeah, sure. Are they going to sh shinobi here? Are we really getting shinobied? Wow, that's really good. I have all sleeper in a swamp, sure. That's not the worst, I guess. Uh, because I have misery shadow out. If a creature would die, exile it instead. Interesting. <clears throat> so we can actually steal our own guy here. And then it would come back on our side, right? Eh, I guess they can just trade here. That doesn't feel as good. All right. <clears throat> well. Oh, that's pretty cool. Nothing we can cast with it just yet, but it makes our Orcish Bowmasters significantly stronger in the future. Narset. You got it. <laughs> All right. That makes our Lurus a lot better. We're definitely blocking. Don't really feel like giving you more cards. Um, Would really love a land here. They have no cards in hand, though, so that's pretty good. We could play Lurus, play a land, but then we just don't get to play anything else. Yeah, I think we just have to take one turn off and then next turn we can play two three drops or a three drop and a two drop. They only have one card. They're going to Narset again here. They whiffed. Oh, that's great for us. And we do get to draw a card off this, which is pretty good. It's funny, usually I would want them to take the monarchy just so I can get my guy back, but currently that is less enjoyable. <coughs> we can go Elspeth negative. Does that seem good? We can go Luris. Uh, this is actually pretty decent here. So we can go Luris. I 
They have no cards in hand, so we're basically just mitigating damage. And then we can go one, two, get back Bomies. Shoot Narset, because I want to be able to draw from Old Monarchy. And we'll play Sentinel. And in the future, we can actually get back Misery Shadow and kill Worm Coil and Fallen Shinobi so that they don't get the tokens. Which seems pretty good. They are going to become the Monarch. But then we get Orcish Bowmasters to start shooting their tokens. <clears throat> um... Oh, God. I Yeah, we're just going to take six here. I'd rather take six than have this guy get through. Sweet. Yeah, that's pretty good. <clears throat> so, we can play Elspeth here with a full board. It, makes, it kills both of these, but I kind of want to get Misery Shadow out first so we can actually... I guess maybe we plus Elspeth here. <clears throat> that seems pretty good. How much damage can we deal? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Oh, I guess we should have played Land from the Graveyard, but I'm not sure that matters. Or we could have played Vista, got a black, played. They could also go, they could also draw Deluge and go negative two for Deluge, which kills all my stuff, leaves these two alive, and it's pretty rough. <clears throat> I wonder if it's just Misery Shadow. I don't think it's Misery Shadow here. Although we can make it a 6-6 six, six and just block here. That's actually not terrible. Yeah, let's do that. They do have a creature land, that is correct. <clears throat> I mean, that doesn't, I don't feel like that does a, a ton currently. We're going to gain three from Luris, ideally. Bone Shards would actually be solid here. We can kill their Worm Coil while we have this guy in play, and then they never get to draw off of it, so. What's the hold up here? I think they have... Did they just draw, like, Mystic Confluence? Because that would be kind of a bummer. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> T -t 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 today, Junior. Would you like to let my shadow resolve? I don't know what's going on. Oh my god, it happened. My guy actually resolved. One. Uh, two. Three. Look at me. I am the monarch now. Oh, 
Ooh, <clears throat> those army tokens are looking real good. We're drawing a lot of cards between the monarchy, between skull clamp, between Esper Sentinel, Luris, Sower of Temptazione. It's fascinating. Do you take the Luris or do you take the Misery's Shadow? Misery's shadow. It's not like you can you can't get anything from your graveyard other than the lands back, so that's a good draw. Every time I think Sower is not good enough, a situation like this comes up where Sower just actually does something cool and it's pretty good. The Bowmasters. Interesting. Not what I was expecting. It seems good, but it's not what I was expecting. Oh, you have more things. You're gonna activate tar pit. Yep, that sounds good. Well, that's nice. That they're they're preventing me from drawing cards, which is good. Uh, if it also was a cleric, it's not. Get bigger. Smuggler's chopper, huh? Chopper. <laughs> that's not a word. Uh, that's a helicopter and a copter and the tele helicopter. <clears throat> Can we make Sower of Temptation larger? Is that possible? <sighs> wow, that Sower was really good for them. Um, I don't want to draw any additional cards here because that's kind of scary. This guy's got D-Touch. Oh, I actually can't put lands into play with this guy. I, I've been saying I can. I'm not sure if anyone stopped me, but it does say cast. So, in my face. In my stupid face. I mean, Elspeth just killing these two still seems pretty good, and our board is really cool. So maybe that's correct. Because then they have these two blockers and we have a lot of power. So fingers crossed, I guess. Plus they have Bitter Blossom as well. So maybe that's a... <clears throat> and they have no blue up, so that's nice. And they have one card, so they can't... They can't free counterspell or cast counterspell. This is another situation where they're going to take like four minutes to let Elspeth resolve. I feel like our deck has a lot of action. Like we have a lot of things we're doing and it feels, feels pretty good. It just feels right, you know? <clears throat> Elspeth don't work on water unless you got power. God, that's fucking gold, dude. <clears throat> What's it like being this this good at, at being funny, Super Fritz? Um, this guy, this guy, and this guy. Don't think there's any incentive to attack with either of these, except for like if we want them to take one. Let's say they block here. Right? Then they block here and they take six. Yeah, sure, I'll throw that guy away. What the hell? Mm hmm That's what we were expecting, fascinatingly enough. Oh, no. They've changed their mind. Oh, no, they've, re they've resettled on it. Okay. 
I think we're just playing smugglers copter. So I think all is. Oh, actually, what if we what if we let them take seven and they go to they go to three with a bitter blossom out and no way to gain life. <clears throat> Because this guy's actually going to probably die. But I don't want, I actually don't want to be the monarch. Oh, we're gaining three. Yeah. All right. So we're going to go to, we're going to go to 10. We're going to take one from the, now he's going to shoot here. Um, I don't really want to draw more cards. Yeah. I don't think we're going to keep this alive. So we're actually, they have no way to gain life. So we're actually just going to, pump this guy I mean we do get to draw the card at least I mean they get to kill our elvish our esper sentinel sure but they only have five power on the board and they're at two life so oh they have eight power actually Ugh, that's pretty bad god this is so much closer than I thought it would be Oh, we should have brought this back for one. I totally forgot about that. That would have been better to block. So they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, we literally just can't draw another card because <laughs> then they kill us. Well, we have Luris. Man, I thought this game was going really well up until right this second. If we can deal one point, then Bitter Blossom kills them, right? This game's going to be close. It really depends on what their two cards are. Okay, so they are going for the eight here. <clears throat> Okay, so we only take five and Elspeth dies, which is fine. I can just cast Elspeth with Luris, right? Is that how that works? <laughs> you got my him and my skull clamp, two cards I had no interest in casting. Sure. Um, We can play El Esper Sentinel again. They got three creatures to block here. We're definitely going to gain some life. One, one, two, three. One, two, three, one. Okay, so we can actually do a lot here. I think we play Concealing Curtains to see what they have. They have to block with everything, I think. Fascinating. You choose a non -land. If you do, that player discards and draws. Uh, choose a card to discard. So next turn, if they go damnation. Okay. That's fine. I don't care about that. What in damnation? They have to block everything here, right? Yeah. So we go up to seven. It's extremely healthy. We don't become the monarch. Um, so we'll play mentor, play copter. And now they have to damnation, but they're going to be at one. So I think we, I think this is pretty good for us because then we get to keep a copter up. If we draw any creature, we just get to, so they're at one. <laughs> the most we, we would take here is three. Okay, we just won the match. That was that was pretty fun. I enjoyed that game. What in damnation? Everybody's having a good time. 
which is mostly us. Boy, I tell you what. Oh, yeah, I'll play first. Sure, I will. I'll keep this. It's a little slow, but we got so many two drops that we could draw. Plus, we have this guy into these guys into this thing. Oh, the Evolve Sleeper Mirror match, eh? I see. Fascinating. Did OP have a way to get rid of the Bitter Blossom? Uh, no, I did not see any way to get rid of Bitter Blossom. For them. Yeah, we definitely would have just passed the turn if like, we if they passed it back to us. We also wouldn't have had much to do because our hand was empty and they would have damnation, presumably. But also, <clears throat> we wanted to gain life that turn because they did have Creeping Tarpet, so... We couldn't just stay at four. Maybe we could have. I, I don't know. It would have been very close, but I don't want to give them, like, outs. So. Okay, this is pretty interesting. I think we're just going to play. I think we're playing mentor here because if, even if they play dark depths, they can't activate it, but I'd like to get a mentor down because all three of the cards in our hand will trigger a mentor. So Well, we definitely wanted to play something because we wanted to have blockers. They have a flying creature and we're at like seven. So between Creeping Tar Pit and Sower of Temptation, that's five damage. Okay. I mean, I, I think the situation was such that like I wanted to make sure we, we, had, we were ahead on life and we incentivize them to not have a ton of creatures in play. Do you think they got Dark Depths and I can just kill their Thespian stage and kind of wreck it? Because that sounds like it would be cool. And if we hit one more land, we can actually just equip this to something next, the, the turn after. <laughs> oh, we also have Touch the Spirit Realm to just get rid of a, a Merit Lage. So that's pretty cool. Or oh, are they going to kill our Monastery Mentor? That's unfortunate. Well, buddy. Touch the Spirit Realm seems really good. I'm really impressed by it. We're just going to do this because they're not going to be able to attack with it next turn if they put it into play. Get another white here. Because next turn we can actually cast Andoral and equip. Andoral? Andoral? How do you how do you pronounce it? There's the D depths. D -d -d depths. Um, I could just attack. I don't think they're going to pump. I think they're going to do the, I think they're going to do the deed. You know what I mean? Let's make sure this works the way I think it does. Exile an artifact or creature return to the battlefield at the beginning of the next end step. That works exactly how I think it works. So now we're going to play. this and then we're just going to pass they're not going to go for it zero chance they go for it right 100% chance they go for it I did, was not expecting this let's make sure my turn has a trigger because I really don't want them to untap I'm 
What's it going to be, Merit Leash? Man, we just got rid of... This is like a two-for-one. It might be a three-for-one if they got Dark Depths with Demonic Tutor. That's still a two-for-one, actually. Demonic, Demonic Tutor paid for itself. That's how cards work. Where are you going? Oh, he's gone. He's going to come back, though. Oh, he never came back. Oh, dear. My friend is God. Well, that was a cool, that was a cool experiment. If only school would pay for itself, buddy. You ain't kidding. You ain't kidding. Uh, we'll definitely block because at most this guy's going to be a 3-3. Does he get death touch? He does get death touch. No, I've made a terrible mistake. That's fine. That's their that's their turn. One, two, three. So here's the question. Do we equip the smuggler's copter? I think we do because we don't want this land. And it's an extra damage. You know, there's lots of things happening here. The problem is, like, it doesn't stay equipped, so we're going to have to equip it again next turn if we really want to do that. <laughs> Meanwhile, this is six damage, and I get two one ones. Oh, well, I get two one ones though, so that's pretty cool. I would love to use that ability. Yeah, I'll discard land here. Feels good. Oh, Urza. Well, I got to Vindicate, so that's pretty good. So we can just go Vindicate, equip Flyer attack for 400 damage. Do we just kill them here with Flyers? Hold on. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They go to one. Boy, that's, that's a bummer, isn't it? And we don't have a legendary creature either, huh? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can put them to one. That still feels correct. And we're going to vindicate their Urza, so like... And we get two more 1-1s? One -ones? Come on. This is too much. I guess we could have vindicated their Urza first and then attacked with the Solemn instead of the token to put them to, to 2, but then also we got rid of both of these. Honestly, I don't think this matters much. Yes. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, I'll get rid of that for that. Sure. Deal. <clears throat> it is your turn. That was classy. I liked it. I liked it. <laughs> it goes out on its own terms. Oh, man. Yeah, we're definitely keeping this and we're going to get our Savai Triome. Unless we happen to draw it. Oh, wow, a whiff. A duress whiff. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's for you too. <laughs> Fucking love it, dude. Love it. Oof. Well, that makes up for it. Oh my god, stop doing all these things that do things. Yeah, give me that triome. Give me a two drop. We have so many two drops here. That's not a two drop. Why would you give me that? <sighs> Just rude, man. Oh, no. No, oh, that's a good one. I like a little snake, man. Man, I don't know if I've seen Ophiomancer this go around. Uh, let's actually play Flicker Wisp first here, I think. And the reason is because I want to be able to play Gix next turn. Getting rid of this guy. Getting rid of this guy makes it so they can't attack with it next turn, which is nice. Um, if we play Gix next turn, we can draw a card with it. So that's pretty cool. No blocks. I'll take two and hope you don't fall and shinobi me. They did not. And now they have Dark Depths Thespian Stage. They're going to go for it again. This time, it does not seem like we have a great answer for it. <laughs> other than blocking with a Flicker Wisp. And if that doesn't work, then boy, we are not doing great here, huh? I guess if that's the case, we're just going to play. I want to play this guy because I want to at least bluff like a swords or a. Actually, I don't mind dark steps at all. I think it takes a lot of work to like really get it going. Uh, I think it's very fragile, so it's not a super, um, oppressive i mean you know there's a lot of answers to to merit lage like it's not like an an unbeatable creature like it takes a lot to get going like you have to have death thespian stage dark depths and four lands And I can block it. Like, so if I have a way to make like one ones, like I have a way to, to block it. So smugglers copter also blocks it. Let's attack first and see if they want to block my Gix. They did want to block my Gix. All right. Well, Let's play old Larry of the Dream Den. Oh, all right. This is good. We get to live to fight another day, perhaps. Waka, 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 waka. No! Fatal push. Yep. That'll do, pig. So we would have drawn that off Copter, and then next turn we would have drawn Inspector. We could play Inspector, draw a card off of it. We hit Elspeth. Yeah. Well, Wrath of God does not kill a Merit Lage. We can't copy their Dark Depths, because... The Actually... What if we do copy their dark depths and like in response? Can we do that? 
Can you copy their Dark Depths? Because it would still enter the battlefield with no counters, right? But it wouldn't die, right? The reason it dies is because you're copying it. Wait, hold on. Let me see what Dark Depths says. I think you can do it. When it has no ice counters on it, sacrifice it. If you do, yeah, it would work. Oh, wow, that's cool. Oh, yeah, that's a good, that's good tech. Um, I'll keep it. I wish, I wish we had a black source again, but. Come on, Swampy Wompy. That was sad. Because now they're going to Ancestral Recall. All right, well, they didn't do anything, so. Come on, Swampy Wompy. Hey, it was a Swampy Wompy. Look at that. I'm just going to play this guy. I haven't seen many counters, and the only removal we saw was really Fatal Push, it looked like, so. <laughs> Hmm. Let's get Bowman. No blocks. What I'd like is a one or two mana white card. That's not it. This guy's four to activate, right? That's pretty good. Bowman Crown. <laughs> I literally thought that when I said it. <laughs> it's kind of hilarious. Um, what if we do one of these jobbies? Let's attack with this guy. Untap a land so that we can play our Bowmans. That's old Billy Bowmans. God, this card is ridiculously good. Well, that's sad. You got it. Why is it a two drop? You know, that's a good question. I bet it could have been a three drop. I think it would be good at a three drop, but not as broken. Yeah, okay. What are you going to get? Oh, it's either, it's either a good one or a mediocre. Imperial Seal? Sure. That works for me. Oh, they, were, they didn't even attack. Well, we're definitely just going to slam this gentleman. Shoot this thing. Hmm. Well, I am fascinated. So, Elspeth, or Narset, rather. You, you, you. If only we had a creature in our graveyard that we could... I'm just going to walk right into like a damnation or something. We haven't seen it yet. They also don't have a second black. Ooh, there's the old... There's the old Thespiano. Let's go get Dark Depths. So they go to 12...
We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten damage on board. It's pretty good. Thraby, baby. Yeah, okay. We're just getting some big damage in here. Put them to two. Gonna play a land. If they have him to Torak, I'd rather not lose both. I want to be able to cast Elspeth next turn. There's the Dark Depths. But I think we have too much power for them right now. They're going to have to have something interesting to both activate these with four mana and then two mana to survive it too. They did not. Good games. Can we 3 0 with this with this old heap? With this old hunk of junk. I don't know, this deck seems pretty fun. I wouldn't call it a hunk of junk, you know? That's just rude. Oh, the worst hand we've had so far. And of course it happens now. Oh, this is a pretty good hand though. I'm gonna keep it for sure. Can definitely pitch a planes and figure out which one we need. We're definitely going to start with a sleeper. And next turn we can both evolve this and play through an inspector, so that's cool. That's cool. Oh, look at that. Look at that lady. Oh, that guy's even better. Get busy sleeping. This guy's pretty good. I'm pretty impressed by this guy. You like that I didn't pump him? <laughs> I was so impressed that I'm like, you know what? Let him let him live his own life. I'll do it at the end of their turn. I want to keep that black man up for something, something surprising, you know? No play. <laughs> Ooh, scrubbles. This guy doesn't have menace or anything. Just can't get in there by himself. All right, let's 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 make sure to pump it this time. Containment priest. Okay. Make him a little busket boy. Give him a little protection. All right, well, I like our board. I don't hate their board.
You guys ever wonder what the holdup is? What's the holdup? Oh boy. All right. Okay, I didn't unpause it quick enough, but they played an Adeline and a Plains. I'm tempted to just double block. The oh, they got the protection up. Isn't that sad? Oh, we could have just blocked here. Ah, I guess they would have protected that then. Nothing, nothing was lost, so that's fine. All right, well. This is five. I wish this was four, to be honest. That's interesting. I don't think we attack here with anybody. If we just attack there, they give them protection. We're tapped out, so they have no incentive not to do that. I guess we do have Solitude right now at instant speed. I feel like we do have decent blocks here. Okay, that's... I just really hate using Solitude without getting the creature out of it. Like, it's like a two-for-one in the reverse way. So this is interesting. We could sacrifice this guy in the hopes that we draw a land and are able to play this next turn. And then we just get to keep a 3-2 on the board with lifelink. Yeah, I think that feels better. I feel like they have Reprieve and it's going to make me real sad. Oh, they didn't have it. Well, jolly good. That's what father likes. I don't feel like we have great attacks here, but having... 3-2 Flash Lifelinker, and we can flicker it now, which is significantly better. Okay, that was nice. <laughs> oh, you dirty rascal. Oh, you're getting rid of my shadow. Hmm. Ooh, Vindicate. That's interesting. Does that do anything?
Let's blink this beautiful guy. Beautiful. And no attacks for obvious reasons. Get it back. Oh, containment priest. Oh, God. Welp. That's pretty bad. Oh, my God. If we got rid of one of their creatures, it just wouldn't have come back. Oh, God. Just the worst, man. So bad. We could have just gotten rid of their giver. If we targeted their giver, it would have done the same thing. Shit, that's so bad. I'm so disgustingly disgusted by that. Oh, God. That's gonna that's like that's gonna cost us the whole game. It's literally like a, a reverse two for one. It's a two for one for them instead of us. That's so bad. And they got the monarchy still. Like they're drawing multiple cards a turn. We have Vindicate, and that's pretty much it. Yeah. All right. Wow, that was so stupid. So stupid. Let's bring in a Leshnorn. Let's bring in Wrath of God. Let's be a little more controlling than them, huh? Take out the eye. Take out... Smuggy. Bring in Talisman. That seems good. Everything else seems pretty good, actually. I like Skull Clamp, especially for bringing in El... Uh, Elspeth. Wait, what did we bring in? Wait, if Wrath of God's here, did we not bring in Wrath of God? What did we bring in? I think we can take out Call the Ring. No, they can't. Giver of Runes. If Giver of Runes could target itself, it would it would be a strict upgrade to Mother of Runes. It would be a one two instead of a one one. It, you can choose art uh, colorless, and it can target itself. Like the the reason that it's not as good as Mother of Runes is that it can't protect itself. Uh, I actually kind of like Flicker Wisp because of the interaction. Like, if they get Containment Priest down, we can literally just kill their creatures with it. It just becomes a removal spell. It's also really good at retaking the Monarchy if we happen to lose it. I think Call of the Ring can probably go. And maybe Evolve Sleeper, actually. That guy's good, but... I do kind of like Call of the Ring. Maybe a 3-drop? I do like Gix. Let's take out Endural and keep Collaring in. Okay. Still not bad. <coughs> well, we're not going to attack because three of an inspector is it's got a big uh, big old butt. Oh good. Your favorite and mine. Well, I was hoping to draw a black source there so that we could him to Torok you. But I suppose it just was not meant to be, you know? Oh, good. Fantastic. Too bad Esper Sentinel is an artifact, huh?
Well, that's not bad. I guess we're going to... I guess we're going to get him in. Elspeth conquers death and a ponder. Sure. It's a little worse when you have a clue and a Lauren, but we can draw cards too. You don't have any way to stop us from drawing cards. So far. Man, this is actually looking like we could do a solid Wrath of God here at some point. I'm very tempted to just get rid of this Thalia. Or even this Giver of Runes. God, Giver's a real pain in the ass. I'm just going to play Solemn Simulacrum here. We still need two lands to actually cast an Elspeth. But if we like Wrath of God, we get rid of all our guys and we get to... Um, all their guys would be exiled and we get to draw a card and put a 1-1 into play. So that'd be pretty good. Although Elspeth costs seven now, which is frustrating. We could actually triple block something and make sure they don't uh they don't win the combat. Oh, an Arid Mesa, eh? Let's see if this does anything. Or if you got some shenanigans here. Blink it. I'm gonna blink it. They're not gonna blink it? Or are you gonna blink it? They're going to give that pro, sure. Pro black, perhaps? Hmm. Sounds good. Okay, well, we're going to play a land here. And we're going to get a survive Trium at the end of their turn. Or if we need to pump this Misery Shadow, we're going to do that. <laughs> okay. You got it. I mean, if that's one of your two cards, it's not terrible. What is going on upstairs? They are making some noise. Sure. So we know they have a Ponder and an Elspeth. No, these are the two we got out of their hand. So we know they don't have those. I don't feel like they have great attacks here. Yeah, all right. I mean, actually, I, I wonder I wonder if there's an argument to be made to get the Scrubland. Because then if we draw Savai Trion, we can cycle it. Whereas if we draw Scrubland, it's just like a ninth land. So I wonder if there's actually a case to be made for that. Yeah. 
Yes, let us draw cards. Do we want to destroy the big creature? No, because then we just lose our Elspeth. That don't seem great. See, now if we got the scrub land and we drew this, then we just have an extra cycler in hand with like eight mana, which would have been much better. I think it would have been scrub land, which is interesting. Usually you want to get the land that comes into play tapped because then you're not going to draw the land that comes into play tapped. So getting it out of your deck is good for your velocity. But at this point, when we have seven lands, I think they're digging for an answer, which is okay with me. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, boy. Is this all going at Elspeth, I assume? Hard to say. Is there, there's no, like, there's no, like, overrun effects, right? Like, that's not a thing, is it? Uh, block you, block you, one, two, th three block you, no, actually, we'll do these two block you, one block you, and one block you, those are the blocks, these are the blocks, so we kill Thalia, we kill Thraven Inspector, we kill Containment Priest, and we kill the one one, and they all get exiled instead of going to the graveyard. Vendillion click, sure. I don't know what this does currently. This feels weird. I don't know why you cast that right now. Are there some shenanigans happening? Is it like a three mana card that like exiles your board? Because Containment Priest would be pretty good with that. I mean, Loris didn't do anything really. Got back Esper Sentinel. I mean, I think I think the Elspeth on board is the bigger issue for them, so. And we get to draw with Solemn Simulacrum as well, so. I mean, if that's if they choose to kill it, which it looks like they did put it in front, so. Oh, Stuart Ohm with the sub. Man, five months. Who saw that coming? What did they exile? Oh, they got rid of my my misery. My miseries. Misery boy. He was a misery boy. We drew a skull clamp and a Thraben inspector from the Vendilla. Oh, that's pretty good. Boy, oh boy, that's good. <laughs> Okie dokie. Well, oh boy. Everyone's, maybe I did want the land at this point. One, two, three, four, five. Skull clamp, skull clamp. Yeah, we're just going to play. We're going to plus. We're going to get. Oh, what's this? Oh, is this a skull clamp? Ooh, wee. Ooh, wee, Rick. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six mana. So we can equip one more. I'd rather have blockers though. So we're going to cast this one, two, three, four, five. Get rid of you. And we'll play the Thravey baby. And I guess we'll just get in there for one. I don't know. Skull Clamp a good card? <laughs> This is gross. Why haven't they scooped it? Do they know that they have lost? They don't know. They don't know. Hold on one second. Pop that up. Okay.
I don't know what's going on. Are they just they just don't want to take this one damage? I understand. Recruits, recruits, oh toots. All right, let's see what you got, bro. Let's see what you got. I mean, they're up a game. Like, this is game two. And it looks like we're going to win game two, theoretically. So I can't imagine they're super upset with, um, you know, this situation. Like, they're not going to disconnect and they probably just uh, go to game three, you know? Okay, we got three bit. We got a we got a flicker wisp here. I wonder if that's the best card they could have gotten or the only card they could have gotten. It's definitely not the only card. I think my question was: Is that the best card they could have gotten, or is that the exact card they wanted? That's what I wanted to say. Do they want this particular effect for something? Do you just blink Elspeth to put her back down to four? You blink that to get rid of skull clamp that's pretty good that's pretty good i guess we should have drawn more last turn we got greedy <laughs> or oh, we didn't get greedy enough i guess is the is the correct <laughs> conclusion oh you're gonna get your giver back that's interesting i have a skull clamp on board i draw like six a turn and now I got to vindicate. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. Um, Treachery can't steal this. They could fracture an identity and they don't get to keep the counters. So we have no real incentive not to just keep plussing, right? They can't, they could probably play like zealous conscripts, but they can't, they're probably not going to. So. Oh, little bomies. Little bomie balonies. Um Can we flicker wisp and blink anything to good effect? We can get we can Hmm. We can get rid of their mox diamond kind of. We still have to win this game though, you know. I kind of like call to do that though. Call is a good card to to win the game for you, you know? We could also just flicker wisp our solitude to get rid of like their Lauren. I kind of like that. And we still get to keep up Bowmasters. Flicker wisp solitude. Get in there for one. Because Lauren's going to make them draw extra cards. And they don't have Containment Priest anymore, so that's good. And if they want, if they somehow get rid of our Flicker Wisp, we can cast Bowmasters to get rid of their, get rid of their Flicker Wisp. They did not want to, well, we're not going to waste this. We're probably just going to assume that nothing's happening here and we're going to ultimate our Elspeth. Okay, we just win the game. They didn't even want us to do it. <laughs> plus two, plus two, and flying to everything. That would have been fun, but they were like, no, I deny you that. That's sad. This definitely feels like it's a good place for Wrath of God and Aleshnorn, so... Maybe even Karmic Guide? Interesting. Because Karmic Guide would get back, like, Palace Jailer or Luris. Like, there's a bunch of cards that I would like to get back with a Karmic Guide, but...
Yeah. It's sad they didn't let us ultimate Elspeth. We're one game away from 3 0 but we're also one game away from 2 0 ing 2 1 ing That's how math works. Good times. If we lose, we delete the match from existence. Never. Yeah, I think these matches were pretty fun, so I'm gonna I'm gonna chalk this one up to a win. Oh, I like this hand a lot. Turn two talisman or call into turn three Yogmoth Praetor. I'm down with that. Figure. Come on, Wrath of God. One time for Papa. Give Papa his little Wrath of God. Hmm. I needed red mana. What do you want from me? Four, five, six, seven. Wrath of God. Dang it, that's not a Wrath of God. I'm at a point where I might actually just cast Bone Shards here. Pitch like a land. That seems fine. They have one card in hand and we have a 3-3 three, three versus their 2-1-1-2. Two, one, one, two. That seems good. Oh, oh, you little sassy biscuit. Well, this isn't a lot of pressure, though. And if we can get, like, land, land, we can actually play Elspeth. If we can get Solitude land, that'd be cool, too. Bowmasters is cool. I guess we're going to use black for this so we don't have to take the damage, you know? So we can play call into Bowmasters? Oh, that's really good. <sighs> Just the first one they draw on each of their draw steps. Bowmasters shoots a boy. Or a girl. A gentleman or a lady. Doesn't discriminate. Bowmasters cares not for your... Hello. My name is Billy Bowmaster. Oh, this is actually great because I thought they would crack the clue in response, but they didn't. So now we just get, like, if they crack the clue, we just get another shot. Yeah. 
Yeah, all right, sure. <laughs> you got it. That's sad because now we don't get our our token. Yep, you got it. It's your lady. I told you this card was good. Who's that lady? Elspeth, the lady. Activate your Lauren, I dare you. Oh, they got rid of my Bowmasters. <laughs> Oh, that's going to be nice. Oh, the old Elspeth skull clamp combo. <laughs> oh, boy. We're having a good time, ladies and gentlemen. What if I show you this? Will you scoop for me? Come on. Just scoop once for Papa. Make some gentlemen. Plus, I get all three of these back next turn. Well, I guess you get one of your guys. So not all three of them, I guess. What are we getting here? Ooh. <laughs> Okie dokie. I think I just want to keep up Solitude here. Ooh, Navy Seals. <laughs> wow, what a fucking throwback, man. So they get a tithe ticker. We get a Gix and an Orcish Bowmaster back, and we get to... Uh, sure. Give me more cards. Who are we gonna shoot? Do, do, do. Gonna shoot this guy. Oh, he did. Wait, we don't have the mana for Solitude. Did I lose a land? Did I just not have as many as I thought I did? That makes me sad. I would have drawn two more cards. Okay. I, I, I accept. Four. Okay. It doesn't have haste. I guess you're gonna do it to Thraben Inspector, and then get back. That this 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 does not seem great here. Thraben Inspector is only gonna be a two power, so you can get back like Figure of Destiny. But we have like multiple removal in hand. We have an Elspeth. We have a Skull Clamp. I think we're I think we're a little ahead. We also have seven more minutes on the six more minutes on the clock than our opponent does. So we're winning by a lot of metrics here, except for life, which we are at seven. So we got to keep an eye on that. Solitude has a, uh... yep, that's what I figured you do. And I guess you're just getting back figure of destiny with mana value X or less where X is this creature's power. Sure. But then we just get to block it too. 
This is an interesting choice. Yep. Get back Figurini. All right. Oh, wait, did you get it? Oh, it has flying. And you're attacking our face. Oh, it does get flying, doesn't it? That's something. I guess that's better than nothing, right? All right, we're at five. That That's a lot worse than I thought. Is there anything we can do at the end of the turn? Not really. I guess we can actually touch and blink this guy EOT. But I think we want two answers because otherwise this guy's gonna also just fly over our face. So tricky, tricky. Flying might be the death of us. Hmm. Or we can just find a Wrath of God. Because I think this board is actually pretty... <laughs> I found it. <laughs> oh, Lord. Well. That'll do, pig. So I guess we just attack because they, they have nothing to gain. And it might turn their giver of runes off. This is a May ability, right? Yeah, okay, thank God. One, two, three, four, five, six, and we have eight mana, so we can play Wrath, make some guys, and play Touch. Oh, actually, I wanted to get this Tithe Taker off the board so that they wouldn't have a creature afterwards. So that's pretty good for us. I mean, assuming they don't have, like, Mana Drain, right? That would be pretty bad. No. Uh, I'm just going to all no. Always yield. And then we're just going to say no. 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 Do you think they would play Mana Drain with their... Off their Black Lotus? Or do you think they just don't have anything Black Lotus-y? These are the questions. I boarded this in. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Three white. Okay. They changed their mind. Interesting. I wonder what they have. They're going to do it again. God, now I'm like, now I'm a little frightened. Okay, three white again. Do they touch the spirit realm? They, if they had touched, they would have gotten rid of Elspeth, right? Really? Uh, because I don't know what I want to do. I don't know if they have a response. Because if I draw cards first, I'm not going to be able to do anything else. Because I have plenty of things to do, basically, is my is my plan here. So we have three guys. Um, yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna end up solituding that thing because I don't want to go down to. They're gonna put the counter on itself, and I don't really want to go down to one. <laughs> so I think we're just gonna play mentor here. Did I play land this turn? Yes. Well, that's good, because now I can get rid of omens for solitude. This is a situation where I don't really care about having the uh the solitude in play. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> I almost didn't have my end step, but thank god this guy has its own trigger. Otherwise, it would have just resolved. Uh cancel. Cast. 
Choose it's one other creature. This one. And I think we can have six after that. Yep, I have no no responses, so. Seems good. Seems fine, I guess we'll say. I, I'm probably not going to ultimate Elspeth here because we'll only have two creatures on board. So it's only like three and three. Two three threes with no Elspeth in play. Boy, this sure feels very strong. Yep, all right. That guy's good. I guess we're going to get in there for two. And then play a Misery Shadow. We should have played Misery Shadow first. But again, like, it's a situation of, like, I want to see what I can draw and make sure I maximize the mana I have when I draw a card. But I guess I could have done... I could have clamped first, if that's the case. But, I mean, we're drawing a million cards here. We're also the Monarch now. And they have to win in a minute and 55 seconds. So if we draw two... Yeah, let's just go to... Let's just go to an even... One, two, three, four, six cards in hand. <laughs> uh... And I like having touch for any kind of shenanigans. Man, Luris being able to get... Oh god, are they like Lightning Bolt? Oh my god! Well, that's terrifying. What in the earth... Didn't matter. <laughs> All right, 3-0 with that sweet black-white deck. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. If you want to support the channel, definitely consider subscribing. It's free with Amazon Prime. It's one of the primary ways streamers uh, are able to keep providing content for you on hours at a time. So definitely consider that. It's a great way to support. And uh, you can also check out HelloFresh. Link's up above. It's also down in the description below. It's 50% off your first box along with free shipping. It's a great deal. I get a significant kickback from every uh, new subscriber um yeah and you can cancel after your first order you don't no commitment so you don't feel have to don't have to feel pressured but yeah thanks for watching guys i'll uh see you next time